Bookmas day one everyone. I am so excited to be starting this journey. I have been waiting for this. So day one is going to be a holiday romance reading vlog. Now this is a collab with some lovely booktubers and it was also organised by Vanessa from Read with Dr. B. I will leave everyone's links that's involved in the collab down below and make sure to check out their videos but I'm going to be reading some fun holiday romance and I feel like this is the best way to kick off Bookmas. So when when Vanessa was asked me if I would like to join in this club. I was like, yes, of course. What a great way and fun way to kick off Bookmas. So the first book I'm going to be reading is How My Neighbor Stole at Christmas. I'm so excited for this one. This is like a newer release. I've read Megan Quinn books before, but this one just seems so exciting and interesting. I also haven't yet read the synopsis uh, for the first time. So it says, living in a year-round Christmas town has its drawbacks. The caroling, the decorations, the insane cheery spirit, it never disappears. It's why I like to hibernate away in my cave. I mean, house, keeping a healthy distance from the jolly holiday jolly spirit and all was going according to plan till my nemesis story and i moved in next door to care for her aunt cindy without blinking she turned my simple world into a real nightmare before christmas especially when she decided to enter the town christmas crinkle contest which she was determined to win well guess what over my cold hardy body there was no way i was going to let her win not after the history we shared so desperate my, despite my promise to myself i've never participated in the sickening christmas season i entered the competition as well that's right i found a leaking story at her own game while pretending this grump's heart grew three sides of the season and it was working until feelings between us started heating up we pretended to date we kissed and well sparks flew from there which led to one explosive night involving Christmas lights, the competition, and the ladder. Don't let me convince you who stole Christmas. I think you need to find out for yourself. That sounds so good. It's given like the Grinch vibe. I guess it's like a grumpy sunshine. He obviously doesn't like Christmas. There's obviously a reason for it. She obviously loves Christmas. Definitely given the Grinch vibe. I love because like Grinch is like one of my favorite Christmas movies. So that's the vibes it's given off. I just know I'm going to really enjoy this book. So it says. A new winter holiday and meets the lovers' romance. The undeniably funny and always spicy. Gotta love it. I'm very excited for this one. 480 pages. Shouldn't take me long to read. Yeah, so it is on Kindle Unlimited if you're interested in reading this as well. That is going to be the first book that I read in today's video. into how my neighbor stole christmas i did start this this morning and to be honest i did fly through the first 115 pages i don't know what it is so far. i'm liking it don't get me wrong i'm liking it i just want to point that out there i'm really finding it hard to feel like this connection between the characters i feel really disconnected with the story right now but i don't know if that's just because i'm not really far into it but only within like the enemies section of it currently i don't know if it's also because maybe i hyped it up in my head a lot like i thought i was going to give this book five stars if not like a really high rating and i mean i still have like 300 pages to go so i'm not saying that won't change i just feel like i had very high expectations for this and that might be ruining it for me i don't know like i said i just want to preface i am liking it i am loving competition part of it without saying too much i'm loving the competition i am i am enjoying the enemies to lovers of it but i just feel like no i don't know what it is i can't form words right now because i just don't know how i feel myself and i don't want to talk too bad about it because obviously i'm only 115 pages into it a lot can happen i haven't even got to like the the good and spicy bit of it because i have heard that this book gets really good spicy very christmasy very quick so that's what i'm saying like i'm i haven't given it a chance because i do think it is a little i don't want to say slow burn but i do think it is a little bit slower than most romances 
that's what I want to say. Yeah. Anyway, I am going to continue reading it and hopefully it will, like I said, I'm liking it, but it will get better and maybe speed up a little bit. Maybe that's my problem. Uh, maybe like get into the good stuff type thing. <laughs> I finished How My Neighbour Stole Christmas. I did write a few notes. I felt like it didn't like start to pick up until about the 60% mark. It's definitely a, well I'm gonna say it's definitely a slow burn. It doesn't really like, it focuses quite a bit on the enemies to lovers and like Grumpy Sunshine at first, which don't get me wrong, I'm not talking like bad about that. I absolutely love that. But I just felt like there was times where it was going so slow that I was starting to get a little bit bored. Something about the book though, I am in like this weird place of reading that like once I put the book down it's very hard for me to pick it back up and I think that's one of the reasons or why this like was a little bit of a problem for me but like I said generally I really enjoyed the enemies to lovers and grumpy sunshine like trope within this book and how it was done I also loved how Cole felt so like comfortable with Dory and like opened up to her to the point where he was like comfortable enough with her to take that big step and do something that he wasn't expecting to do within that year without saying too much but i felt like that that whole scene like reading that whole scene was like such an important scene and like a big step like growing step growth and that is kind of when you're like okay things are going to start happening because that big step considering there was enemies to lovers well enemies first and to lovers oh i haven't really said what this book is about um i did write a little on my thoughts together like i'm reading so many books is about story taylor and she moves back to peppermint cove to take care of her aunt cindy her neighbor and who also used to be her friend cole is not too happy about this because like things obviously ended in bad terms but then story enters the annual christmas ringle contest and he decides to participate in that even though he promised himself that he would never participate in christmas festivities but as you could probably tell you could you could probably tell who, who is the grumpy and who's the sunshine but yeah i Honestly, I really enjoyed this book. I rated it four stars. I love, like, the dynamic of it. It's just what I would have liked is maybe the romance starting at maybe, like, 50%. Even, like, just that 10% earlier. I feel like that would have made such a big difference. But then again, I don't know. I'm kind of, like... I also think that it being slow burn, it gave us the chance to feel a connection between the characters and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm conflicted myself, to be fair. But, like I said, I think... The only reason I'm feeling that is because I was really struggling with like reading it, the reading bit myself. Like when I, I put it down, I struggled to pick it back up, but that was me. I am like that with all books currently. Sorry that it was smudged before. <laughs> My favourite part of this book is at the beginning of every chapter, there is like a Dr. S is it Seuss? I think I say it. Like narrator who begins every single chapter and I love that. Uh, it's like each chapter with a like a rhyme i love that so much it just I really enjoyed that it made it like so much more fun to read and more interesting i would recommend that you read this like the grinch because that is like a big thing about this book and obviously i love the grinch i watch it every single year a uh, small town grumpy sunshine fake dating friends enemies to lovers more and a lot of banter because let me tell you the banter in this book is incredible so that is on that book i like said I enjoyed this so much. Just my little reading slump type issue. Uh, that was, I think we struggle a little bit, but generally this book itself I enjoyed and I would highly recommend that you read it this year because it's so good. And it's definitely a popular Christmas book. This year, I've noticed. Last night I finished reading My December Darling and I love this so much. I could have read it in one sitting if like I wasn't busy doing other things but whenever I put it down I just kept thinking about 
wanting to pick it back up and at the moment i'm just really struggling with wanting to pick books back up right once i put it down but i'm just in one of those i don't really want to say reading slump but i'm just in one of those this book i could not stop thinking about i have rated it 4.25 for now i think that's like what i'm happy with let's stick with but I just love this book so much and obviously because it's so short and I was loving it so much I didn't really do any updates which I mean I wish I did. So this book is about Catalina and her sister is getting married to her ex-boyfriend and then there is Luke who is the best man to Aiden who is Catalina's ex who's also obviously marrying Catalina's sister. Gabriella. So Catalina and Luke are kind of enemies at the beginning. They don't like, it's not like pure hatred, it's just like a dislike type thing. But then eventually Luke like admits that, okay, I like Catalina. So Gabriella and Aiden kind of help him to have like organize this discreet day with uh, like a lego day and can i just say that whole scene everything like i was obsessed with that whole scene the time is is catalina is only there for her sister's wedding she's one that doesn't stick around she she travels so her plan is to leave by january 1st so yeah that's like the basis of the story but i i loved everything about this i love the characters the chemistry between them the writing of this book as well was amazing like i said the lego scene i just loved it it was so cute i just highly recommend this for a christmas read so i mean if you're looking for a christmas book up this one please because it's just so good and it's also quick it's like i think it was i want to say 217 pages but i think it was like 243 on my kindle so i mean like i said it's still really short it's like just over 200 pages or should we say just under 300 pages depends absolutely i love this book so much and i could definitely say it's it's a new favorite christmas read and i think i've only got three that could like is on the top of my mind now so obviously have big nick energy which i read last year tis the season for revenge which i also read last year now we have this one and i don't know what it is i just loved it so much and i'm going to keep recommending it at least i feel like i am probably throughout bookmas it's just so so good okay i'm going to leave now the next book i'm thinking of starting is the christmas blanket so i'll give you all an update once i have read that So I have now finished The Christmas Blanket and I read it in one sitting because it's only 173 pages and I actually really enjoyed this one. I rated it three stars just because it was like short but this one is about a main female character. Believe it or not, I'm not unfinished it, I forgot the names. <laughs> I'm so bad with names but a main female character, she is flying home for Christmas but it turns out she flew in while her hometown is in a blizzard. So she ends up getting stuck. Uh, her car ends up getting stuck and then uh, a man asks if she needs help and she's like oh my savior yes please help me but it turns out this man is actually her ex-husband and they because of the blizzard they end up being stuck at his place and obviously it's kind of like a forced proximity type thing because she can't leave like no cars you can't walk anywhere literally you can't go anywhere so she's stuck there for i think it's a few days not being able to leave and that is when they kind of like get to talk and rekindle and everything you know it's just that type the tension within this book is crazy it's kind of like obviously enemies to well lovers to enemies to lovers but there's like you kind of wonder why do they hate each other so much from the beginning but everything wraps up so nicely and i feel like the length of this book was perfect you do feel a little bit disconnected from the characters in the sense of there isn't enough time to build the character development it is built a little bit but everything else about this book i felt like the pacing was done so well because there was just enough enemies and then it wrapped up nicely i really enjoyed it personally i feel like this isn't one that is talked about a lot but if you are looking for a short christmas novella i would definitely highly recommend this one the writing as well within this was just so easy to read i read it so quickly i really enjoyed it i'm just sad i didn't do any updates before but it's okay it's a bit hard to update while i'm reading short books that was the last book for today's video i had three holiday romances and i had 
a great time reading them it was so fun and i mean i got great christmas romances within this video please go and check out everyone else's video it will all be linked in the description and hopefully you can get some more amazing holiday romance recommendations if that is what you are looking for thank you all so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe and leave this emoji if you watch until the end and i hope to see you all in my next one bye <laughs>